Thanks for clicking. My name is Mark Mitchell. I'm a mortgage broker here in London, Ontario. Just a quick update today as Finance Minister Christia Freeland delivered Canada's fiscal update to the House of Commons, where she outlined a number of initiatives that the government will be undertaking in 2022. Among them was a national foreign buyer's tax, which will tax vacant properties owned by foreign investors. So what I want to do today is do a brief background on this foreign buyer's tax, as we do have some experience with it in Canada. Uh, we'll go over what the finance minister had to say and when Canada will be implementing this tax and also take a look at what chances there are that this foreign buyer's tax will cool our real estate market. We do have the inflation update coming out tomorrow as well as our weekly China update on Friday and we will be doing a year in review for Canada's real estate market. So if you want to get those updates make sure you click like and subscribe but for now let's get into this buyer's tax. As the Canadian housing market continued to surge well into 2022, by April, demands were growing for Canada to do something to cool this market. At that time, the government did announce that they would be studying and then implementing a foreign buyer's tax. We do have some experience with this foreign buyer's tax as Vancouver implemented one in 2016, and then the GTA to the Greater Toronto Area also followed suit in 2017. The extent to which those foreign buyers taxes actually worked at cooling down the market is debatable with, uh, with, with some, some analysts saying that it did work very well and some saying that it did not. There are all sorts of intervening variables that came into play between 2016 and 20 now, including low rates and uh, pandemic. So it's really, it's difficult to see, see how much it actually was effective, but nonetheless, Ontario's Premier Doug Ford did announce that if Canada failed to introduce a nationwide foreign buyer's tax, that Ontario would introduce one province-wide itself. But Christopher Freeland did come out and say that Canada will be introducing this foreign buyer's tax as of January 2022. As we announced in the spring budget, on January 1st, 2022, our government will apply Canada's first national tax on vacant property owned by non-resident non-Canadians as we said we would. So if you are a foreign investor and you buy land in Canada, if you buy a home in Canada and it sits vacant, meaning it's not rented out and it's not owner occupied, there will be an additional tax on it. There wasn't any specifics yet as to how much that tax will be. If we look at Vancouver, their tax was 15%, as was Toronto's. But we are going to be waiting to get those details in the budget. Whether or not this foreign buyer's tax will work to cool down the Canada's housing market really remains to be seen. We don't have all the details on the program, though. Um, those details are set to be released with the federal budget, which will be out next year. But I think that right now it's just too early to tell whether or not the, how, how this is going to be implemented. I will say, though, that it definitely can't hurt. We learned a few weeks ago that over 25% of the buyers of Canadian real estate over the, over the past few years have been real estate investors, meaning flippers, although the report didn't say whether or not those constituted foreign buyers or domestic buyers. Nonetheless, we do know that for, that real estate investors, rather than home buyers, are constituting a large portion of our market. So, anything that makes it a little bit more difficult for foreign buyers to get into the Canadian market is definitely going to help. It's def it's not a one size solution. It's definitely not going to fix the or cool down completely the real estate market. But every little bit of incremental help will slow down our market even minutely. It's, it's, it's like I said, it's definitely not going to hurt. But the finance minister just delivered this fiscal update to parliament. So we're still waiting to get all the details. And like I said, we're going to have even more details out once that budget gets delivered. And I would assume even more once the opposition parties have their, have their say over this fiscal update. Um, we will have updates on those as they come out, um, especially when that budget comes out, as I think we're going to get a full idea of how they do plan on implementing this foreign buyer's tax. Click like and subscribe if you want to get those details, but for right now, thanks for watching.